If you're like me, you probably don't uh, enjoy those uh, company-sponsored uh, team-building events that uh, corporations tend to throw, whether it's a potluck or y'all go off-site to some place. And, uh, you know, it's just a bunch of phony interactions that, you know, I'd rather not participate in. You feel me? Uh, I know a lot of people don't want to participate in them. And if you do like to do that, you know, you weirdo. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is that um, those can be useful, though, if uh, if you attend those. I want you to get in the mindset of trying to figure out your coworkers, especially if there's uh, alcohol involved. That's another thing. Don't drink at these events. You want to watch everybody else get drunk and reveal their weaknesses, and that's what you're there for. You don't want to go there and and uh, participate and have fun and play games and shit. No. You want to be focused on figuring out who these other people are that you're working with, figuring out what they reveal about themselves, any weaknesses, vulnerabilities, insecurities, um, things that they're working on in the office that you may not have been privy to, uh, other projects that are coming up that could prove uh, beneficial for you. You want to pay attention to those types of conversations and you want to try to get some information that's going to be advantageous to you in your job so you want to make those uh gatherings even though you don't want to attend them you want to make them useful for you to possibly advance your career if that's what you if you want to stay in this corporate environment and you really want to pay particular uh attention to if one employee kind of dips off with the manager and they talking for a while and they tight and they have a bond with each other you really want to pay attention to who that employee is because that employee oftentimes has more power than the manager. And they're mostly going to be gossiping about the rest of y'all. So that person has gained the manager's trust. And they're usually the first person to um, report to the manager any uh, disagreements on the team, anybody doing something uh, wrong, and the manager trusts them. So you really want to watch who that person is. And you really want to figure out how to move with that person. And it usually involves... Uh, not revealing too much about yourself to that person because that person is definitely going to tell the manager. So, um, and you want to pay particular attention to how other coworkers gossip about one another. You don't want to partake in it, but you want to pay attention to who is, the types of things they're saying, uh, the types of things that they reveal, and uh, the types of things that they say about others reveals the character in them. So, it's a it's a double prong thing you want to pay attention to and. Uh, Kind of get some game on everybody and then figure out the lay of the land and make it useful for you to figure out how you can make a play in the future. So um, even though you don't want to attend them, uh, they are born for the most part. And, you know, you deal with your coworkers eight hours a day. You don't really want to see them, you know, afterwards. But, uh, you know, as they say in corporate, these are not mandatory, but they're highly encouraged that you go. So, you know, uh, basically they're saying that you better get your ass there. So. If you have to be there, make them useful for you, uh, figure out things, pay attention to certain situations, certain uh, relationships, uh, certain conversations, and then make them useful for you. Uh, if you want to learn more, as always, my book, the link to my book is in my bio. Go check it out. All right. Appreciate you listening.